so that's one of the lovely things about this boat is if you, you don't ever, I shouldn't say don't ever, when it's really stormy, you don't want to go out on the deck. Right. And so everything comes back here. You can handle everything from the cockpit. These clutches I handle, of course, all the lines. In order for the clutch to release, you have to have it all the way forward. Okay. If it's up like this, it won't work. There's one that's caught there. See, it's still caught. You okay. Have to go all the way forward. Do you know whether or not we've ordered uh, asymmetrical or spinnaker? That's an asymmetrical. Asymmetrical. Yeah. They yeah, are also getting a full batten mainsail. Is yeah. that what you have? Oh yeah. Almost all catamarans do have full batten. Right. Because they have such a big roach. The sail goes up like this. And okay. Back. Oh, that's the roach? Yes. Oh, all right. You have the leech of the sail, which is this. And the amount that it goes from a straight line is called a roach. Okay. Okay. So, you'll put a step on the yes. Yes. so they're flat. This has roller curling jib and it's self tacking. That's cool. what this track is. That's really cool. And I think probably that's standard. You would hope so. So the problem with that is that when this has a lot of tension on it, mm -hmm. it's tough for the car to move. It right, starts to right. jam a little bit. Now this line here is designed to limit its how far it goes on either side. So you can adjust where <coughs> you're pulling it from, so it's infinitely adjustable. Uh, I keep the stops all the way out. Okay, so that also adjusts. That I'll, you can adjust it so it'll stop at those stops. The only time I think you, you would really require that is if you want to hove to. Because you can't hove to this boat unless you put the stops to keep the jib on one side. Because otherwise it'll go. Hove to means that you're on attack and you change your tack, you go through attack, but you don't adjust the jib sheet. Mm. So the jib backwinds. Right. Then you let your main sheet go, and the boat just stays there, just going. On. Oh. It goes. It it goes forward, maybe a knot or two. Right. But basically. Really? Because you're balancing your sails. Balancing your sails. Okay, so you're kind of creating like a little vortex where you're not moving. You, well, well, it's, it's when sure. usually it's it's used in a mono hull because you want to leave the helm. You know, all of a sudden somebody says, you know, the boat's healed over too far, I've got to go to the bathroom. Uh, or some emergency occurs where you have to leave the helm got and not it. steer it. So you hove to immediately, let the main sheet go, and then you can let the tiller or the wheel go, and the boat will just balance and you won't go anywhere. That's cool. Or say you want to reef. Mm -hmm. So you want to stop the boat while you reef. So it's a little bit okay. different in this boat in that you don't need to hove to, to reef. We'll, right, right. We'll, we'll show you how to do that uh, probably tomorrow. Yeah, briefing would be good to do again though. Okay. Um, this is the tack lines for the asymmetrical. And I think tomorrow, late tomorrow afternoon, if you like, and we have time, we'll actually set the spinning curve. So. Okay, that'd be fun. Ooh. That was fun last night. Okay. And uh, this is the anchor. You probably have a CQR unless they've ordered a special one. We ordered this special partially okay. because my wife loved the shininess of the stainless steel and, and it looked like a really good anchor. This anchor has never failed. It oh, always did. What kind of anchor? This is called an Ultra. And it costs about a thousand dollars. It's just another boat boat. And this is the bridle. So it'll come standard with the bridle. I'll show you how to use this bridle for the anchor. Great. Awesome. That is simply a, a base for my crab pot puller. I have electric crab pot puller that I use to pick up the crab. That is an extra roller for your secondary anchor. Oh, okay. In case you want to. In case you want to put two anchors in. 
I put the anchors out just a couple of times uh -huh. when I didn't want to swing a lot. Right, right. But generally with the bridle, you'll swing only about 90 degrees. Whereas if you don't put a bridle out, like on a monohull, you'll swing about 180 degrees. Oh, right. In the wind. So you never want to anchor next to a monohull. Because they mm. swing so much. Because they're going to swing like this and you're going to swing like this. Also, you should never raft next to a monohull. <laughs> because they're going to be oh, rocking like boring. this and you're going to be sitting like this. Uh -huh. And so if they rock very much, they're going to get their spreaders or something caught in your spreader. Yeah. Sail material. You have a standard sail material. We wanted one was super strong, the best sail material we could order for cruising. Okay. So we ordered Hydranet. Hydranet, which is a combination of a Dacron and, and, and what else did they mix in here? Anyway, it's a super strong material. Again, you pay a couple of thousand dollars extra for it. But Hydranet is probably the best cruising material you can get. These sails now are seven years old, uh -huh. and they're still good sails. Oh. How long do sails usually last? Five years. Or rate, if you race her, about one year. Right. Uh, <laughs> wow. But they have different priorities than cruising. Yeah. Ones. They want to make sure that it's perfect. Yeah. Make it fancy. So do you have a cover for your... No. Your jib? No. no. This material, the first six inches uh -huh. material, is a UV protection. Oh, so you don't have to put a cover on it. No. That's awesome. It's already protected. And that's pretty standard in sail making. They'll put the first six inches will be a UV protection. Actually, it's it's a disposable material in that they can take it off and then put and a new one on. it pretty easily. Cool. That's nice. I was thinking putting a putting a no. Cover on that sucker would be a trip. You don't, huh. Yeah, you don't. Need <laughs> All that thing up there. Right, like we do for our, yeah. our fly. Okay. okay.